now that we calculated what this actual radius is, we can go ahead and draw that by using a simple draw command that Java has. So here under step 12 you see the draw radius on the screen. If we just copy that to the clipboard. So copy to clipboard. Mm -hmm. And we go to our code near the bottom where we're drawing everything else like the black hole and our object. And we control paste. Yes. And here if you actually read the code it has the positions labeled for you. It's at x massive and y massive or the x position of the black hole and y position of the black hole in our case. But now we need to pass on to it some radius in order to actually make our circle. So right now inside that code the radius is set equal to zero and we just calculated that the exact radius we need is 80. So we're going to change that value to 80 and now when we run our code you're going to notice this ring up here. Whoa! See? Our object was launched just from the edge of that ring. And that's why it was able to escape. Now, for example, we could say draw something inside and outside. So let's play around with that. So if I draw my velocity somewhere inside this mm -hmm. ring, it's going to stay in orbit, just like we saw before. Mm -hmm. uh, what about if I draw it closer to the out? Closer to this ring. Still on the inside, though. Oh, it looks like it's going to make a giant orbit. You're so, right there near the edge. Mm -hmm. So right near the edge, uh, it seems like I'm still inside the orbit. But what about if I make it right outside the edge? So, oh, did uh -huh. it zoom back in? <laughs> Oh, well, check that out. So we were way inside the... <laughs> and crashed. <laughs> our short style radius, and we crashed mm -hmm. inside. So let's, uh, um, press let's play replay again. it and start outside the radius. Let me give it some huge velocity. There it uh, is. And we're way out lost. So anywhere outside this ring we're going to be able to escape the black hole. Uh, but anywhere inside this ring, we're just going to spiral, either spiral into our death, or we're going to stay in orbit around um, our black hole. So that's pretty cool. Yes, Found it is. that radius. Definitely. And we could go ahead and add a few more relativistic effects to this, but they wouldn't exactly be that easy to accomplish. So right now we've been working with a Newtonian black hole. Remember, we started with the slingshot with gravity, which is a purely Newtonian exercise, and we said we're just going to modify a few things which mostly amounted to giving a maximum speed of the speed of light and changing from Earth to a black hole in our picture. Physically, um, adding the speed of light is important, but it's not the only thing that's involved in relativity. In particular, when you start getting into general relativity as well, and you think about things like time dilation that occurs because you're, pro because you're in the gravitational field of a very massive object, we have some other effects that our black hole could, um, that our particle moving around the black hole could experience. For example, consider, again, we're pretending that this particle is light. Um, if we were to launch it from inside the event horizon, on the code here, you saw that it could escape the horizon, come back, and either orbit or crash, but in real life, time dilation would occur. So the particle, if you launch it from inside the event horizon, would seem to slow down compared to an observer that's standing outside the event horizon. And it would move so slow, in fact, that the force of gravity would seem to act on that particle longer. And the extra gravity that's present would stop our light particle or anything else from actually escaping the event horizon. Um, if we were to launch even just from outside the short shield radius with enough velocity, um, you would escape, but again you might get things like red shifting that occurs, you know, the particle seems to lose energy. Um, that would be another relativistic effect, for example. Yes, remember uh, there's also another social media page called Howie Science mm -hmm. where um, we post about what it's like being a graduate student and the activities that we do, the, um, and 
different meetings, our research. So make sure to check us out on Howie Science. We're on uh, Instagram and Twitter. So yeah, make sure to also check us out. Yes, we'll see you there. See you there. Bye. Bye.